Hey guys, so if you're watching this right now, um, it's around the time of the full moon in Virgo. Although this is a timeless read, if you are watching this now, I'm definitely going to give you a little bit of um, ideology of what's going on with this full moon in Virgo. Although you will be using this type of energy and be aligned with this type of energy, even if you're watching this after the full moon is in Virgo, here are some words and some uh, highlights that are going to let you know what you can expect and what you should you know focus on um not only as you listen and engage in this reading but as you engage and listen to yourself in your everyday life so as i said um around the time that this reading has been put out is the full moon in virgo so if you want more information on that you could definitely look up the full moon in virgo and get even more clarification on you know just the moment uh of vulnerability you are in your life and what's going on so um right now is a great opportunity for us to check in with ourselves and to make sure our inner world uh is reflecting where we want it to be from a higher level of questions uh highlights include how much self uh validation and do you receive and require and how much external validations uh are you receiving and requiring from others is your focus more so on yourself or on others is it imbalanced how um have your self-care routines enhanced uh how has your connection with yourself enhanced based off of your self-care routines? What are you needing to eliminate or implement? You know, we don't always need to, like, just add, add, add. Sometimes we need to take away so that we can make space to add. Uh, how are the connections you are making make you, make you feel, like, or the connections that you've already been involved in? How do you feel within them? Uh, how you feel as an individual, like simply by yourself, like when you're not around people, do you feel like you need to call somebody? When you, when somebody is calling you, do you feel like you don't want <laughs> to be involved? Because that's not a really good balance, if that's the case. You know, that's something to think about. Uh, although self care is always good, and you know, being around people is also pretty awesome. Uh, so, what can you do for others without giving all of you? How? Uh, do you show appreciation to yourself and how do you show appreciation to the others that you do want to remain in your life uh remember that alignment equals focus and some key words here is freedom expectations labels sense alignment sacred work and intention um i hope you guys enjoyed and i know that you've been looking at this picture of you know um group one and group two uh person a being on the left and person b being on the right but if you do need more time to choose you know which which group or person that you feel more drawn to then definitely pause the video right here and you know take as much time as you need um and if you have already decided that you know which person you are um then uh let me also include that um this is a a group reading or whatever or a uh, couple read and it can be uh platonic it can also be like relationship um like you know like relationship like that <laughs> um it may be synchronistic based off of your relationship that you are uh engaging with with your your person or it might just be some insight on how to navigate and understand one another better um but it is a reflection on you and like somebody in your life so i think that's also pretty cool and you know i also think that's um a good way for you to spend some time with uh, a loved one and if it's platonic or if it's actually a loved one so i hope you all enjoy uh you know be sure to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you in the comments <laughs>
to the side. So hello guys. I just want to welcome you <laughs> again. <laughs> so we're just going to dive right in. So we have person A and we have person B. So person A, you're being you're being clarified as the garage. Um, there's a lot of movement going on in your pal, um, in your, in your group, in your space, in your time. Um, I feel like you are working on your, whew, you're working on a lot. Um, you're, <laughs> you're actively working. And if you're not actively working, then you feel like, um, a lot is happening that you have no control over um, regarding your self care, regarding uh, regarding the the food that you eat, your your health and routines, your uh, your wardrobe, um, just everything, everything. A lot of cards really wanted to come out for you, so I know um, you're trying to like find stability because with the garage coming out to clarify you is really saying a lot and especially with this like piece of garment inside the the car is like you're really trying to find stability in one spot and the red represents like confidence so so i really feel like it has to do with like yourself and just your uh sense of movements and stuff like that and just you just want peace I, I'm, I'm sensing peace I'm sensing uh, a lot of caution surrounding like the things that you are engaging in or trying to engage in but as I said like it feels like a lot is uh, like going on like with all areas and aspects of your life so let's um Let's get right into it. So we just had to turn it up, right? So this is what you're being guided to release. This is what you're being guided to release. Uh, your ways of learning. Um, your ways of happiness, the things that make you happy. Like your direct confrontation, your direct emotions and uh, ideologies regarding the what you're learning um honestly it's not really feeling like um a person for for you it's feeling more so like <laughs> like you are the person your habits your situation is the main focus here and you may be feeling like you just don't have the answers. Yet you're in, somehow in charge of things. <laughs> Which would make sense if it has to do with your life, like and you. So yeah so we got <laughs> confidence within yourself and the one seemed like regarding yourself i really felt that and then like back and forth with your clarity which makes a lot of sense so i feel like you're going back and forth with your clarity which you don't know <laughs> you don't know what it is you're supposed to be working to you don't know exactly what you are working to um, like regarding your confidence and what have you. 
So it's feeling like, so it's really feeling like a lot of confusion regarding like who you are, uh, where you're going, what you want in your life. The, your self care routines are probably changing. Like I said, the food that you eat is definitely changing and stuff like that. And um, it's meant to make you more happy. It's definitely meant to make you more happy. But I can see why you feel fluttered because I'm all in your energy and I feel a little bit fluttered and I didn't feel fluttered before I started your reading. But the whole thing is you just don't know <laughs> where exactly you're going. And um, I feel like that's like straight to the point. We don't really have to, we don't really have to go too hard about trying to figure out, you know, uh, what it is you're releasing or being guided to release. You're being guided to release your ways of teaching yourself how to be confident, how to be yourself. You're shedding old skin and becoming new. You're becoming a, a whole new creature, um, if I may. So now we're gonna see just exactly what you're receiving, like who you're, like, who are you becoming? Who is my power one person A becoming, if I'm in spirit? Who is my power one person A becoming? Ooh, look at that, the office. I like the office being here because it's like, um, in the office environment, you have like a lot of stability, which is what I was, oh, okay. So like you have a lot of stability, uh, cleanliness, you can't have no, dusty office like you have to be pretty clean and um i don't know if you notice that right there but it's like it's like some coffee um stains like i feel like you're finding like duality within yourself and i like that like you're being very cautious about who you who you want to be while life is showing you that uh like certain parts of you that you may have been trying to get rid of is okay like you're learning how to be okay with who you are um while also learning how to be more grounded within yourself i definitely feel like your confidence is like boosting a lot and i really do feel like you're getting a lot of help from the universe um uh and honestly all of this could be happening for some of for some of us here um for our work life uh you might be just be finding a balance between work life and uh personal life um and you know a balance between not being perfect and being the person that you want to be um just uh stepping more into your power is what i'm getting and just really discovering who you are um this is more of a masculine energy, even if you are a female. But I like that because, you know, I got the, the duo here, the duo here, and the woman here. So this is like, regardless if you're a female or a man, like, uh, I feel like you're balancing your masculine and feminine energy. <laughs> and that's really a peaceful thing for you to do. Um, you're really stepping into getting to know who you are. The more you surrender to all of these changes that's happening, the more you get to step into who you, who you legit, who you legit are. Um, so you're definitely receiving, uh, you know, clarity amongst, you know, just the duality of who you are, and and stability regarding your work life and personal life, and. Ooh, look at that. I love the green that's like seeming to surround you. So this means that it's a lot of like happiness that's really, that's really coming in. So you're moving, like I said, like your confidence and just your happiness with like, ooh, I feel like your work life is, all right, like I feel like the more you become confident with yourself and like teach yourself how to, just allow yourself to flow with your personal life, the more your uh, finances and uh, just 
uh, acknowledgements and accolades from the rest of the world is just gonna like continue to go crazy. So right now you might be getting a little bit here, a little bit there. Or in the past you might got, you might, you know, you might have had it in one but not the other. But now this is a time for you to come into uh, just a true and genuine situation where you're gonna be able to, uh, you're really gonna be able to have duality within the two and, it, and you're gonna like work and feed off of one another um because i keep on glancing in this picture at the like family photo and you know like just the eating it's like you know like just because you work don't mean you can't have self-care and you know everything here is so nicely put together and clean but then it's like the coffee stains it's like you're not trying to be perfect anymore like you're, you're understanding that perfection isn't isn't genuine like not, nothing is perfect nobody's perfect and that's what makes life so great that's what makes us so great um you know um <laughs> and a, another thing is like it's nobody in the office but it's like food left over and the little stains and then like it's nobody in the car but the little garment is there it's like it's like just peace with just being who you are and just like moving along like okay like you know i got my space i got my peace i got my stability and you know like i don't need to rush like i don't need to rush one i don't need to be perfect too like i could i could i can take my time and be confident and my confidence is going to bring clarity on what it is that I need to do. So I'll be fine. <laughs> so I think that's really, really cool and really awesome. So um, now we're gonna go ahead and go with your, um, and just continue to figure out what it is you're receiving. Like, why did you release, you know, just over, um, maybe, uh overconfidence for some of us is we was too confident with ourselves and it was not uh reflecting on the rest of our lives the rest of like um the, the the rest of the aspects of who we are the people who surround us uh our work environments and stuff like that and then other for other for others of us it was not it was a lack of confidence and um now you're just like learning to understand like no like <laughs> i'm i'm the person that i and meant to be and as, even as i grow i'm still i'm still grateful to be who i am and now that i look back at who i was i'm still i'm actually more grateful for who i was uh now than when i was who i was in the past so uh spirit can we have some messages to know what else uh is coming in oh okay that was way more than two so can we we um see and that was like green and blue that's like clarity within your um within your happiness so i definitely seen a skip is it see is a lot of skips so a lot of things i feel like in the past you might have skipped a lot of um a lot of things that made you feel happy uh regardless if you felt overconfident or underconfident you was you was missing out on the things and and not uh putting effort and energy into enough effort and energy for some of us um into the things that actually genuinely made you happy and now that you're like going back and forth with it you're realizing that like wow um <laughs> it goes hand in hand like the more i learn myself the more i'm able to uh, really knock whatever it is I focus on out of the park type which you know makes not only makes you feel good not only gives you space to be confident and continue doing what you're doing but uh, allows other people to work with you and um, just appreciate everything that's going on with you and your talents and skills so can we have Two more cards to represent what group person A is receiving. What is person A receiving? Okay. Skip. And what is person A receiving? There's a lot of letting go. Um, so 
So I feel like you, you're receiving. Let me see. Let's clarify with. Can I have one more card, please, clear it, to know what is person A uh, releasing? What is, well, receiving, receiving. I don't know if person A is releasing, but what is person A receiving? Wow, do you see this? Okay, I'm not going to take all of these, but... Ha ha ha, I was just singing and I turned, wow, that's, wow, okay. All right. Okay, skipping. Hmm. Stability. This one is a six, but it's reverse. I actually do want uh, take these and then I'm just gonna leave. wow okay it's a two a reverse two at the bottom okay i'm not taking this but i'm gonna use this as well so because this is a lot of this is like it's all really screaming so what you're receiving is not having to get so much clarity within yourself uh like self-validation i feel like you might have been someone who uh like i said even if you was overconfident or underconfident you Put a lot of your happiness within how you felt, uh, how you felt within your like, like what made you fulfill, how much knowledge you wanted to receive and stuff like that, uh, like, like the higher purpose, like, uh, like you might have been a person who didn't really stop and smell a coffee. Ooh, okay, and that might be why you know the coffee thing is there. So uh, you might have just been a type of person that wanted to get things done, like. Uh, and, and, and instead of enjoying like time um, and experiences, uh, like really enjoying it, you, you focused more on like, what's the right answer type situation. And instead of like, just like, that's not gonna make you happy anymore. Even if it made you happy in the past, like you feeling like you was right all the time, or you just feeling like you need to know what the right answer is, like, that's what's that's what's changing because even even with this it's like uh you got two sixes which is like more duality and they're upright and this represents like your happiness and it represents your clarity and it's like your like your happiness and your clarity is going to be working together like you don't need to know everything and you don't need to be happy with everything or accept everything or um like it's gonna be a dual type of focus. So it's no more uh, just focus on one but not focus on the other, which I was saying before, like your balance, you're gonna come into a lot of stability. So I'm feeling like, um, like there's just gonna be a lot of balance between your work life and your spiritual life as well. Like your spirituality is gonna grow and uh, your intuition is gonna be heightened and you're gonna be able to care for yourself way more. And how you care for yourself is actually just gonna reflect on uh, like your job, basically. The more you give yourself love, the more you care for yourself, the more uh, you come out of instability and, uh, n and uh, feeling like you're messing things up or feeling like uh, things is just out of your reach. Um, or feeling like you need to be super duper caution because you're already gonna feel that caution. Which is why the two is reversed and is yellow saying like is a direct a direct reflection of the lack of work that you felt like was being accomplished because of your overthinking and because of your lack of confidence. Um, or because of your overconfidence with only focusing on one thing but not the other. Uh, and just feeling like, oh, that's going to make me happy. <laughs> I'm just going to see how, how it turns out because it should work a certain type of way. Um, if I focus on this, this is going to happen. If I do that, that's going to happen. If I don't do this, if I skip out on that, it's going to make it like you're, it's less of that. There's no more, there's no more of that. Um, there's no more of that. And that's why you're going to be an even happier person. And your work and your 
uh, personal life is just gonna be amazing. So can I have, so I'm gonna get some messages for you. Some messages for you to see like any last messages. So spirit, is there any last messages we have for person A? So we have, so we have, why are you neglecting yourself? So these are just questions like uh, that you might either be already asking yourself and trying to figure out or that spirit is really trying to put you on a, you know, uh, put you, bring it to your attention to, to ask yourself. It says, make this investment, it will pay off. But you see how it was like reverse? See, like, that's, so you're, ooh, I love, I love synchronicities. I love when it, <laughs> I love when it happens like that. Uh, yeah, so it's no more. If I do this, that's gonna this is gonna happen like a return type situation. Like, okay, it says trust yourself is needed. Uh huh. Uh huh. Trust yourself. See, we got the we got the make this investment. It will pay off in reverse. It's like no, stop doing that. You know, that's not trusting yourself. This is trusting yourself. My happiness will bring me clarity. My clarity will bring me happiness. Um. And it said, this one says you did it to yourself, <laughs> which I mean, like, yeah, like, you know, if you take things away from yourself, um, then you definitely, you know, you definitely took, you definitely put yourself in a position to feel how you feel. And if you was, you know, and if you, and if you give to yourself, you definitely put yourself in a position to receive the things that you want to receive so uh i hope these messages resonated and i hope you you know have some some confidence <laughs> well you have a lot of confidence that's here um a lot of confidence that's here so i hope that you know that you maybe tame some of the confidence within like trying to be a certain way and uh you know just make sure that you allow yourself to become uh, a, a more uh, relaxed person with yourself and not so um, not so specific about you know this is gonna make that because look like even with me lining it up like this like if I learn this, it's gonna bring me happiness and balance with everything and then and everything is just gonna be like that. Like, no, no more of that. <laughs> no more of that. And, you know, you're gonna be a way happier person. So I think that's, I think that's pretty awesome. I think that's very awesome, right? So there we go with person A. And for person B, we have the jet ski rentals. So let me clear the energy. So my person B of group one, uh, I want to burn some more sage. I wonder. Is it anything? Is it any left? Oh, just enough. Okay, so my person B for group one. Let's get into it. To it. Into it. So clarifying. Um, this is what you are focusing on so it's just a lot going on <laughs> i don't remember with your pal um it was just a lot of cars just flying all over the place like i was getting more cars than i was asking for it was just like sheesh sheesh so with the jet ski rental it's giving me like vacation vibes it's giving me like let's have fun let's get out there and i'm getting a lot of like water inland so i'm getting like air sign energy and um water sign energy so um that says a lot too because 
you know, it could, it's really nice when when uh, water and, and land gets together. But when we see all of these footsteps everywhere and all of these jet skis, it's giving like, uh, you know, it's a rush. And, you know, I felt the rush when I was shuffling your cards because it was like I said it was cards flying out I was asking for a certain amount it was more coming out than it needed to needed to like I feel like I'm now talking a little bit faster than I need to so <laughs> let me just <laughs> calm down because it's just very exciting your power is very very exciting so this is what you need to release <laughs> this is what you're being guided to release <laughs> A little bit of this excitement that's going on um, and this may take place in a form of a person a habit or a situation right now is I'm really focused on all those footsteps there's a lot of foot traffic here it might be people in your life that you could <laughs> let go because oh my gosh it's, it's, a, it's a crowd it's definitely a crowd and you know uh, not saying that you know people aren't good but if you are in a huge crowd it's a little bit more difficult for you to figure out who exactly should be there and who exactly shouldn't, right? So, um, so you're releasing, hmm, yeah, see, I was only doing one of these and now I have two, so let me see. I'm going to take it. I, it ooh, I'm just, this is powerful. Before I even jump into the rest, I'm taking this specifically because, like I said, I was seeing a lot of foot traffic here and 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 jet skis here and, you know, like, it's a rental, so somebody has to clean the beach and, you know, like, put the jet skis back. And this is a huge group, like I said, and right now, uh, you're being guided to release either the people um, or you just creating situations that you need to clean up. Like, are you are you you're either surrounded by people who you feel like, oh, I need to fix these people. I need to help these people. I need to, I need to do with these people. I need to make these people happy. I need to create situations that make all of us happy. Like, it's hard. It's very difficult to like make a whole bunch of people happy at one time. Like, like even if you know, it's it's like even if you're aligned with all of these people, like. If it's a group, you know, everybody is meant to break down and, and be to, within themselves and appreciate themselves and stuff like that. Like, you don't have to be, you don't have to be, you don't have to be the person who makes the situation. Oh, let's go jet ski it. And the person who's like, you know what? It's so many of us. Let me clean up the beach. First of all, I'm getting, a, <laughs> I'm getting that message of, uh, um, sweep the beach or something like that uh um like it's a message where it's like um um like like sarcasm like not until not like not until you sweep the beach or something like that or you know like like mop the ocean <laughs> just outlandish is what i'm getting like you don't have to create scenarios that you feel like you have to clean up or that you're like that you have that you don't have like good feelings about like or you just seem like you're just too eager to create situations that you that you potentially have to clean up and you like are aware of this like that's not what you have to do so spirit is definitely guiding you to to relax with that relax with the people relax with the situations yeah yeah especially because especially because like you are the person who's directly like like not benefiting from it look the three three's a crowd <laughs> so you are like you are your fulfillment your wisdom like how much you learn like like your ultimate mission is is not very clear it's not very clear um and you have way more luck than you actually are allowing yourself to see and receive um it seems like you might struggle with like uh your pet like 
separating your past from your present from your future so it's like if you it, it's like you want to take everybody with you and you can't do that like that's not gonna that's not gonna work like i feel like you're one of the, like i feel like for us in this in this in this group our group b's i mean yeah like person b <laughs> for group a i mean yeah for group one group <laughs> listen <laughs> you see what i mean like this is this is this is I just have to break down into this. This isn't my reading, but now it's like so much energy is here that's fluttering me to make me feel like, you know, like I'm, I'm like, I have to correct myself so that I can keep on going. Like it's just too much going on here and it's taken away from you. It's literally taken away from you. Like you have great potential and you're a great person for being able to create scenes and scenarios and, and and seeing the good in people to want to take them with you but like you cannot just take everybody with you some people is meant to leave in the past regardless if it was a good relationship or it wasn't it's like you know sometimes people are here for moments and i feel like you may be having some type of you know you're being guided to release certain people to allow people to fall away from your life so that you can have stability so that you can know uh where your success and good fortune lies uh, so that you can have clarity on yourself and so that you can actually have clarity on if you want to just be cleaning things up and you know like fixing things and people or if you just want to be like a, a, a creator and an artist because you have a lot of potential to to just be very successful and right now you're halting your success uh with the company that you're keeping and the situations that you're engaging in And so this is giving me people, situation, and habits because like that's a habit type of thing. So like spirit is guiding you to release this, or you are personally releasing this at the moment, so that you could bring in, so that you could bring in. Let's see, what is? Oh, oh see, like, mm, that's weird. I don't even. I'm going to read off of it and then put it back. You know what? It's giving stability like within your It's giving stability like within your 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 fun life cuz you seem like a very fun person. Like the jet ski rental, like you and people is really a a, a major thing here because threes represents like, you know, like I'm getting three of cups, three of pentacles. Like this is celebrations. You know? Um, and it's more than like just a couple like you're the you're that person that people want to be around and that's awesome Like, you know, what I mean nobody want to just go to the ferris wheel by themselves But it's giving more duality within you like uh, spirit is really guiding you to To have more you time so that you could uh, really see uh, the fun times that you want to create for yourself, but also understand self-care because I feel like part of what's being taken away from you right now is your ability to uh, engage in self-care that's going to bring in your success right so uh your lack of self-care and your lack of s kind of self-peace because of you spreading your energy so much uh creating and fixing is taken away from uh your intuition and, and guidance on who is also draining that who's also just coming around just to have your energy type basically or just to use you and and, and who aren't gonna be around when they're gonna be around for oh you want to do this doesn't that sound fun yeah that sounds great like, i'm with it but then they are i'm hearing financially they're not oh yeah i'm here but i don't have the finances this is for some of us okay I'll, I'll i'll help like you know what i mean we're already here i might as well and like yeah spirit is saying like it's not the end of the world it's not breaking you you know what i mean but spirit is also saying it's distracting you and it's taking away from the things that you could be invested in because you have a lot to give so uh can i have one please spirit uh what is you know my person be uh bringing in there we go Ooh, courtyard Okay, I like that because the you know the Ferris wheel was there, 
but if you notice it's still a three here so it's like listen um it just it's just gonna bring in more stability like ooh, ooh, like spirit is saying spirit is definitely like highlighting right now that you aren't even you aren't even like how to lose being a life of the party you're just gonna gain more peace within yourself like i like that it's a courtyard here but it's empty <laughs> but it's still showing remember i told you i was thinking like the three of pentacles it's like it's showing you that like it's gonna is it like yours first of all you might <laughs> you might be coming into uh, a, a a moment of solitude a time period of solitude within your life but spirit is definitely letting you know, like, this solitude is just going to bring you closer to the people who are. Like, it's going to help you help you decide with your intuition, like, who it are meant to have your three of cups, you know, you create times and um, share moments with. Um, and also give you a clear understanding from your past uh, who... Who um, has stuck around for what reasons and why you should bring them into your present. I mean, into your future. Excuse me. So, Spirit, can I have one card? Uh, what is what is uh, my person be being, like, about to receive? What is, what is person be receiving? Like, come on. What's person be receiving? The good old person be the life of the party here. What is person B receiving? If person B releases and surrenders to this energy that I am picking up on. Okay. Okay. Just a dancer. Oh, it's a basket. Wow. I love this for you. The basketball player is just teamwork. Like, ooh, you can't play basketball by yourself. I mean, you can, and oh my gosh, that's why I love that the courtyard is here. Like, this is, I like this for you, uh, uh, group person B. I really like this for you. Um, yes, it's too many people, like, you gotta be a team player to, to be able to, oh, oh, I'm getting so many downloads right now. Okay, one, you gotta be a team player to be able to, like, you know, navigate and, 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 and stick around. And not everybody, the purple, not everybody in your circle right now is team players. And they're taken away from you. So right now, you might go through a moment of solitude just so that you can practice and stuff like that. Spirit is saying, don't take it personal. Uh, you know, like, it's not that you did anything wrong, but, you know, it's stuff that needs to happen. It's stuff that needs to be worked on so that you can, you know, make it do what it do, baby. And have a, a even better circle around surrounding you with the circle oh okay all right i oh okay and um also your cough is gonna this time period of solitude is gonna bring your confidence out like crazy like like you're gonna be even more you think you're a confident person now like you're gonna be even more confident like you see me picking on stuff like you're just gonna be you're gonna you're gonna be bold you're just gonna be like you know what i need to i need to i need to just rip the band-aid off with this relationship like after like after you get used to it like and comfortable within yourself you're just gonna be like look this is my skills this is what i'm good at and you know like spirit is just saying like you're gonna come into like you know just the affirmations the, the confidence the peace within yourself like look no <laughs> no i'm sorry um literally literally <laughs> I deserve this. These are team players. These are teammates that I uh, that I, um that I deserve. And not only that, but Spirit is definitely saying that your adventures are gonna change. Like you're gonna be doing certain things that make your you feel more fulfilled. Like personally, like in a in a deeper level. Like you've been having fun, but Spirit is saying like what you're about to create is really about to clean up your whole soul is also what i'm getting um your life is definitely about to change crazy for some of you you might be uh getting into marriages for some of you you might be you know separating from somebody or some or somebody's <laughs> um and also uh your luck is gonna improve 
especially with like other people um your happiness is your happiness is gonna change like the things that fulfill you the way you perceive happiness is gonna change you're gonna be trying a lot of new things your senses are gonna be on point you're gonna feel more free you're gonna feel you're gonna make some important choices there's some important choices that's about to come up um so spirit can i have two cards just to reflect what is my pal my person be gonna be receiving it didn't really flip so i'm not gonna okay this one really wants to come Ooh, look look at that i'm telling you the people i told you the, i'm so happy for it oh look at that oh i like this i like this for a number of reasons and i'm just gonna like explain it so don't be don't be like scared because of the because of the um the reversal because that's actually a good reversal it's a really really good reversal so i already was thinking three which is why i started giving like the changes that i was feeling and sensing but spirit really said no like the people who you surround yourself by the people who you're about to be surrounded by it's like the best type of people for you i feel like you've been a star player for a very long time and uh you haven't had any real backup like and that's not cool it's not cool at all when i tell you your luck is going to change crazy the stability is going to be out the roof you're gonna feel like everybody you're surrounded by is your is like star players like you're gonna feel like you're surrounded by your equals because right now you you definitely right now or in the past if you have been working on this already this is just a confirmation and you're already on your way to not feeling like you know you're not surrounded by your equals like you're gonna be surrounded by your equals the outcome of you releasing to receive is to be re surrounded by your equals to have foundation where you don't need to do as much you don't even need to be as confident as you've been portraying to be but god like it's just gonna be a certain type of peace you're not gonna be playing with the distractions no more the things and people that has been distracting you from your clarity from the people who are gonna be there for you to create and to clean up situations and that's regardless if they are like literally involved or not like i'm getting you person b has been there for people for situations that you have not even had nothing to do with like you're the type of person people know uh i'm in a jam i can call person b and you're a great person for that but now it's time for you person b to jump into you know uh, uh, boundaries <laughs> literally boundaries your strength and your confidence is going to be a little bit more chill but it's going to make you and the people that you're surrounded by happy because you know like you don't always have to be super confident you don't always have to be super strong and oh like i don't know if you watched encanto you might want to watch that movie but it was one um like basically oh i'm getting this message okay spirit basically and in cancer just to summarize this i like ideology that they wanted to pass along uh the grandma was like helping her family the house was assigning each person look the house was assigning each person their um their um gifts and talents and the grandma was like she really wanted everybody to come together and like just use their talent and stuff because it was only her family that had the talents but they it was like they took care of the whole town with their talents she really wanted her family to like to really go hard with their talents and it was one sis one grandchild who was very very strong and then you know like they had her doing everything nobody was trying to help her it was just coming to oh my house is falling my house is leaning can you pick it up oh can you pick up all the animals and move them over there like she's literally picking these animals up oh can you move the lake or the bridge whatever like it was crazy 
all by herself like you're not doing it by yourself no more like you're about to come together and then it was a like one who didn't feel like they had a skill and i feel like you have so much skill and you give so much that it has taken away from you understanding just how confident you could be without giving so you're coming into a time if you like i said already been working on this and you're being guided to come into a time where you don't have to give as much to receive and when i tell you you're gonna receive so much anyway you're gonna be surrounded by people who actually genuinely like you want to be there for you uh and will not distract you from you know like things that you want to create they're gonna only want to help you and assist you regardless of how how you're not gonna have to show it off you're not gonna have to you're not going to have to put so much effort into it. You're not going to have to convince these people because they're just going to be down there for you. Down the ride. And I think that's very, very beautiful. And I wish you the best, best of luck with all that. So now we're just going to get some messages. Because um, I feel like, you know, like I got, <laughs> I got a, we got a good channel out of this. Right? So now we're going to get some messages. Right? I like that. I'm not, I'm not really getting too, too much. Right? So it says, trust them. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Trust them. I love that trust them came up. Because I feel like right now or in the past, you just didn't have a lot of trust for the people around you. Like, you felt like you had to be the one to create and the one to clean up. And, like, you're coming into trust. And I like that. Trust them. Like, uh, with the courtyard. Look at that. Look at that. Okay. <laughs> and we have, it says, be careful what you say and do. But it came out reverse. So I feel like that like reflects your past. Like in the past, you felt like you had to be very careful and stuff like that. But like now, like you're going to be able to trust the people that you're around. Like in the past, you had to be careful with what you were saying, what you was doing. Because you knew you was the one who had, who had to like create and keep the energy going and stuff like that because the people he was around couldn't match your energy and just, they couldn't match your finances you know what i mean so it's like oh let's go do this we're gonna have so much fun but then you still have to think like dang i'm gonna invite so-and-so but so-and-so don't have this but so-and-so always want to go and then so-and-so always order this even though they don't have that and then i gotta uh, uh maybe we don't do that i'm just gonna take that out so that i don't make them feel the type of way like Ugh, you're gonna be around people who you love and who loves you and I just love this for you and I just wish you the best oh my god so amazing I love this I love 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 it so if this resonated with you you know leave a comment or whatever that, that'd be cool um I really wish you the best and you know like keep on being great because you're an amazing person and you know help is coming help is definitely on its way so have a good day <laughs> so see you guys later okay so we got our person a we got our person a for um we got our person a for group two how you do? Hello. Hey, how are you? So Spirit, I'm asking you to cleanse the energy and I'm asking you to, you know, pass on these messages in the best of graces. I'm asking you to calm and tame my ego so that I can, you know, get the genuine messages to this to this pal, to these group, to this group. So person A, we got you started off with arcade. So Spirit, this is what you're releasing. So Spirit is asking you to release um release all them games. <laughs> Before I even get into this, um basically uh you're being guided to release this stuff or you are releasing this stuff at the moment and this could be a habit or person or situation. So like I said, stop stop playing all them games. Like <laughs> that's all I'm getting. Black and white, like, let's get to it. I feel like you're, like, hot in your cold. You're yes in your no. You're in and you're out. You're up and you're down. <laughs> you might be very, very playful. <laughs> like, to the point that, like, it's like, nah, sorry. You shouldn't even be that playful. <laughs> 
<laughs> no judgment, just like perception. But okay, we're gonna <laughs> spirit. Come on, it's no way. It's no way. Yeah. All right. All right, spirit. Uh huh. Look, spirit. Was, okay. I need to. I need to see what's going on here. Cause both of these came out with verse two. Draw two, draw two. But they came out reversed. Draw two, draw two, reverse. Reverse, reverse. All right, why is this reverse, first of all? All right, so you know what I'm gonna do for you? I'm gonna pull you some extra cards because this is, it's saying stop playing on games, but then it's saying release your focus. Are you, are you, are you too focused on gaming? Are you, are you too focused on playing games? Are you too focused on playing people? And, and are you too focused on like making a fool out of other people? Like just looking at people's flaws and stuff like that. Because I'm seeing a red, like confidence. Are you overly confident? Mm -hmm. I'm seeing a lot of red. Are you overly confident when it comes to like other people? Like, uh, and, and really trying to like solve other people or like get to the bottom of other people like are you over are you overly focused on happiness on like what's gonna make you happy i don't know why i'm feeling like pressing you right now like i don't know i don't know look we gotta mm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. it's okay first of all that wasn't even from your pal but it came it, it just wanted to be shown the one reverse are you feeling like some of us here don't feel very confident so we're like uh antagonizing other people and some of us might be making making it seem kind of playful but no but no i'm gonna spare can you give me two two of these so that i can see what's really good because right now the energy is feeling a little funny i don't get it but i want to get it i want to understand what are you asking uh Person A, group two, to release. Can I have two cards to have some clarity, some clarification? Some of us have low confidence here, and I'm really getting that. I'm really picking that up. Like our, and like we're just really trying to focus on other people. Look, signs. I don't like how everything is reversed. We got signs. And like y'all see, these cards, there's a lot of cards that are right. So, you know, some of this stuff is reversed, but still, like both of these Uno cards came out reversed. So, come on. All right. But, you know, y'all still family. I'm still here to help. No judgment and whatever. Not like that, at least, because we all have stuff to work on. Compassion. You see how I'm being compassionate with you? I think you might need to be a little bit more compassionate with not only others, but with yourself. Because I'm also noticing that this card is a little bit bruised. I feel like some of us here, a lot of us here, all of us here has some healing to do. And even if you are doing the work <coughs> and have been doing the work, there's still some healing that needs to happen. Okay, I don't want to take two. Like, I only want one. I know it says draw two, but come on. But do you see how all of those came out reverse as well? And then birds is reverse right here. Jesus reverse. Six. Like, hold on. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Now that's seven. Six, seven. Like, all of this is domino effect. I guess I'll take them. I'll take both of them. Let's see. All right, we got signs, unicorns, and balls. Okay, so I'm feeling like, mm-hmm. Like I said, when I was pressing you, like some of y'all, some of y'all got some nerve, or some of y'all like attitudes. Some of y'all like some of us. Let me let me hear you say y'all. Some of us, because we're all one, we're all connected. We either all been here or we all witnessed others being here. So signs, balls, unicorns. Mm, the luck is feeling like. You know, some of us is not being able to pick up signs on certain situations with ourselves. But you, because you're focused, you're too focused on other things. You're too focused. Let's, 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 let's go. Let's, let's go. Do you see this? Okay. Do you see this? 
Mm, it just looked like a lot of chaos right here. There's it's a lot of chaos right here. Okay, this one, signs. And then this one is unicorns. And then this one is balls. Now, I'm gonna look for signs. I'm gonna look for balls. Look at number six. Uh, okay, that's a sign. Six. Number six. Like your balance. The red, the twos, the red and the green. Like your, your, uh, your caution. Or like caution. What are you being cautioned about? What are you overly paying attention to? I feel like you're overly paying attention to something and you're missing other things. And that's, you know, the arcade could be here because, like, that's how a lot of games are. Like, if you focus on one thing, you can miss a lot of things in the games. But it's all different. So I feel like in multiple aspects of your life, you're feeling like you're focused on the wrong. Not, I don't want to say the wrong because, ugh. You're just focused. You're just overly focused on certain parts, certain aspects, certain details that does not need to be focused. Like, you see how... This is this picture is supposed to be like from how I'm picking it up right now. This picture is supposed to be paying attention to like the neighborhood, like family life. You only see two buildings, and like you don't even get the clear picture here. Like you see the kite up there, but you don't know how the kite got up there. You don't know how long the kite been here. Like do you understand what I'm saying? Like some of us are assuming, making judgments before we even. Like, we don't, you know what I mean? And it's affecting our work life, I'm seeing. It's affecting our work life. It's affecting... Look, it's a kite right here. What I'm seeing is our ability to go, to be, to be free. Like, we're not feeling free in this pal. Because... This one said unicorn. Our luck. Our luck is, is, is filling out. It's filling down. Right? This is what, okay, so Spirit is asking you to release that. So even if you feel that way, even if what I'm saying is resonating with you and is making you feel like your luck is down, let it go. Like, you got to start surrendering that energy because the more you live in that energy, the less you are able to get out of that energy, right? Um, other thing that I'm noticing here is the minions is like cut out. I feel like the people in your life feels cut out. Because you overly focus on aspects and details that's not important, not relevant. Either you are being cut out of your work life or you feel cut out of your work life or you are in your family life and home life or you are the person that's doing that to the other people that's surrounding you who's trying to engage with you and have fun with you because, you know, like... I'm just not getting present. Like, you're not present. You're not there. Like, things aren't clicking for you. And I was saying that. I was definitely saying that. I don't remember why I was saying that. But I just... Know. You see, like, this is how you feel. <laughs> this is how you feel. Okay? And then this one is just like... You see how... Do you see how the rope is right here? And this girl, like, where is she going? Like, he looks suspicious. Like, like, that's too much going on. There's a whole spill over here that's like, and there's a weird fence that, that doesn't really cover the spill. It's just a fence there. Like, these people is chilling. Like, everybody else is chilling. And I'm seeing, like, diamonds. I'm seeing a lot of jewelry, like, around. It's just making... I feel like you should listen to more music. I feel like you should read more and you should spend more time with the people you care about. That's what I'm getting. That's what I'm picking up. Um, and I also feel like if this is you, <laughs> if this is you, this is not you. This is the like, it's a disguise of like not good energy in you that's like taken away from the structures of your home and your work life. I'm feeling like it's not all right. So like I don't like I like I said I don't know if I said basically uh, this could be situation, people, or habits. I feel like your habits is taken away from the situations and the people in your life, and that's like basically reflecting on you. So it just 
it doesn't feel good like it's just it sucks because it also seems like the people around is just moving forward without you like or learning how to do so and you might be feeling like that because i just i just keep this this person sawing like you're just getting cut out you might feel like you're just getting cut out which is why the drawer twos came out reverse because it's just like look you know what i mean and then i got one and then i got two but i didn't get that extra one you might be feeling like that i'm telling you look red flags okay like it just like i feel like this has been going on for long enough for you to understand what the red flags are <sighs> like you see the like this just it's just it's just certain things you already know is is sus don't be this little girl just 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 aimlessly going don't be this guy looking extra suspicious with the broom and the and, and he don't got a mop but he got a trash bag and and some rope he looks suspicious what are you doing what are you focused on right here that it's all it is going on you look like you're supposed to be the cleaner you, you know what i mean like you you have the potential to be able to clean up all of this stuff and engage but you you're doing this what's going on here what are you doing it looks crazy Somebody needs to get to this. You need to focus on your ego. You need to focus on the demons that's speaking to you, that's making you be however it is is making you be. Because it's taking you away. It's draining you. It's draining you. And there's a lot of things that's, that's sweet that's trying to take place in your life. There's a lot of... Uh, uh, also, the music that you listen to, you need to change it. You either need to change it or like some of us here is musically inclined so you can put your feelings and stuff in your music like a lot of us here feel like we can't fly we feel unfree so like i'm saying spirit is saying release this you can release this by spending time with friends you can release this by separating from certain people um if you wasn't the one that was isolating other people um but you could also release this by indulging in situations with other people. Because the first one that didn't come out with anything, look, like, come on. First of all, the six is here, which is like celebrations and people. But there's no people on this. No people on this. And, you know, the remnants of what was a person. And, you know what I mean? Like, it's, it's not here. So you just feel like, you feel like you're down by yourself. Let that go. Let that go and you'll feel better. Then we got the package here and the sword. Like your intuition, because you're so focused on what's not around, is like it's like putting your intuition in a place and position where you can't even see what is around. And like this package is also giving me vibes like it's something waiting for you. Like like it's right there and like you know about it. Um, but you're not like indulging because like you like this you're, you're so focused on what's not working or what's not making you happy so you're trying to use like other things to distract you and you're like oh now i'm starting to understand like so you're starting to so like some of us here is like overindulging and just like miscellaneous things that's not benefiting us not taking us away from how we feel like we're just trying to like drown it out and that's not going to help you um, so a lot of us here has like really good uh, talents and skills and like work ethics and um, we're like tucking it away or we're like putting it to the side and I feel like no like we need to focus on that because one thing that I am picking up is that you are a star and it's hard for you to start acting like it like um, some of us has just got into like starting to be like this and this is just like a sign like spirit is giving you a sign like this is a red flag if any of this stuff resonate and it's not all resonating it's a red flag that it get that deep if you don't change it up um yes so spirit can we can we have some clarification like what will change like what what will what 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 are, you know, like what are we receiving if we give all this up what are we receiving you know what what are we receiving if we give all this up what are we receiving what can we receive what can person a 
group to receive forgiveness up. Okay. The dining room reversed. Okay, first of all, let's look at this dining room upright. You see how every, like the chairs, the chaos, the chaos within the people and environments that's supposed to be around you. I, I already was peeping that. Okay, um, what can we receive? Habit, habit, person, or situation? Um, spirit, what can we receive? What can we receive by taking your advice on releasing this energy? What can we receive? Is that the one? Is this okay? Ooh, ooh, look at that. Look at that. New times, uh, new distractions. It's going to be healthier distractions, like new habits, new skills. And like I'm saying, as if, if um, music or any of the things that I was naming isn't really a skill, it's some, it's some, it's some opportunity for finances within like the changes. While you're in the midst of this transformation, you're gonna be picking up downloads on what could um, really change your life and what could really help you. And even if it's not like downloads specifically about what could change your life, it's gonna be downloads about like um, what can what can work for you to uh, to really start enjoying life again and really start getting out in the crowd and just be enjoying yourself again and not feel so lonely within your environments. And, um, some job opportunities is coming up for some of us and like I said, I think music is definitely coming in But I also think like friends is coming in. Wow. Look at that. Look at that I just want to point out that I, I seen that this card did not belong, right? But I still left it. I still left it in there and I love that the eight Like you got two eights came out, right? Oh my gosh. I love I love synchronicities. I always say that, but like I can't say it enough. Like I just love it. So basically, like your environment and stuff like that is gonna change, right? But especially like the like what you put your work and efforts towards in the past. The more you release that, the more you the more you gotta feel like you're catching on to like who you are. You're catching on to the to the distractions that actually work for you. Like, it's not really, a, like, I guess when I say distractions, it's just like your hobbies and stuff like that. Like, you're going to come into your hobbies, and that's going to take you away from, like, the instability of the, like, people or places and situations that you feel like has not been helping you, has not been making you feel good, that made you feel, like, out in the cold, that made you feel, like, like abandoned or like you like alone or if that's like how you make other people feel like you're gonna be like letting that stuff go and energy go the more that you make yourself happy and get into your skills and stuff like that like you're gonna just start understanding and noticing like uh like on your own uh like the the things the traits and habits that you was doing and using that was like toxic honestly i'm just gonna come on and say it toxic um, it's just gonna be a real balance and mentally, like I said before, because I was getting a lot of mental energy here. Your mental is gonna be so, it's gonna be cleansed. Like it's just gonna feel so much better, and uh, like you're gonna reap what you sow. So right now, like, like going through this stuff, you might not have even like it might have caught you by surprise, but it was karma for like either like a past life I'm getting or it was karma for just like the stuff you was doing in the past that you knew you was getting you was you knew you already knew that you shouldn't have been doing whatever it was you was doing, but you did it anyway, and then tch, karma tapped that eye. okay I'm not even gonna say the sentence the way it should be said, but you already know what I'm saying, but Spirit is saying, like, you could revive from that. Like, you could get up and, and like, really replenish who you are and stuff like that. And it's just going to make you a better person. And then it's just also you're going to, like, understand that the universe works. Like, what you put out is what you get back. Um, and then I'm also getting, like, you're going to find new determination. And your finances, like I said, I'm telling you, your finances is about to be better. I'm telling you, like, the fish... The yellow, the eight, ooh, your finances. Uh, the more you focus on like being a better person, the better your finances is gonna be. Cause you got a lot to uh, offer, and your inner strength and your prosperity is gonna grow. 
I'm telling you, abundance and all that. I'm telling you, like right now, you might feel like you out in the mud, but I'm telling you, like the more you focus on letting go of the people and the um aspects of yourself that make people feel like out in the cold or like I'm seeing this bottle that's like pointing. It's making me feel like spin a bottle. Like remember when I was started in the beginning, I was just like, who you? You got the like who you have the balls to be treated like that. <laughs> <laughs> who are you pointing out and stuff like that like mm -mm. the more you look inward and work on yourself is the more you're gonna you're gonna gain a whole lot so i really wish you the best with that and you know like uh, i wish you a, a a great recovery as well like because you know like you deserve it we all deserve to grow and learn from our habits and stuff like that our past situations right all right cool so i only got one and uh, i'm cool with that because <laughs> i could i could go on for this one so we got both of these up right so we got archaeologists and we got midwife if i'm not mistaken an archaeologist is somebody who um like goes out into the world and finds like gems in the earth so like like i said before you're being guided to go out into the universe and go ahead and just like appreciate people and remember i said i was seeing gems and jewelry before like you're you're being guided to go ahead and go and put yourself out there and just start seeing the good in life again because um it's just gonna help you nurture yourself and nurture other people and it's just a whole new experience that's on its way to you like the midwife is also making me feel like like it's just a rebirth for you but it's also like some of some of us here may even like start a family like um we'll start families or like just engage more in our family and learn more about our family if we aren't starting families and like a lot of family energy is here like you're meant to be surrounded by people who you love and who loves you genuinely and you don't have to be like aimlessly wandering or aim or like focusing on people or being sneaky or surrounded by people that you feel like is like that um there's a lot of gems that's like around you already and if you just look wow okay your whole breathing is just coming together and if you just look um if you just look and you're not gonna have to look too hard or too far you'll actually be able to realize and solve all of the problems that you feel like is here without having to distract yourself with miscellaneous things that's not even serving you or serving the people and that's taking away from your energy and your intuition so i hope you know if that resonated with you and stuff like that you know i wish you the best and i hope that I hope that you know it all works out and that you do what you gotta do like because okay a, a car just flipped so we're not even gonna just turn it off because your finances i'm telling you you could have a great balance you might have been drawn to another okay if you was if you're feeling cold or drawn to another um pal then you definitely should watch it because you're you're in the midst of duet of like balancing like yourself in your family life and that's what's gonna balance your finances so i'm really happy for you you know even even if you was a jerk at a point in time i'm still happy for you because we all deserve recovery and i think that's what you're getting I think I think you're getting an opportunity to recover. So you know, go to the comments, like and subs like and subscribe if you haven't. Um, you know, let me know if it resonated, all that good stuff, and I'll see you in the next one. Um, love you. Okay. All right. So let's get it on. Let's get it on and popping. So this is my person B, group two. Oh, you don't want to burn. Well, it's a little bit burning, but come on, come on. Burn for me, baby. Burn, baby, burn. Ooh, 
Oh, my eye burning now. <laughs> too much burning, baby. Too much burn. <laughs> How are you? How are you doing? I feel like I should ask that. I don't know why I keep doing this. I be wasting the oil and stuff. The, the lighter fluid. Is it right? Because, you know, I got a whole candle burning. Like, stop playing. Stop crying with me. So I feel like that might have something to do with you guys. Is this something that you feel like you're wasting? Is this something? Is, does this have anything to do with wasting spirit? Let me know. All right, I'm feeling real playful. Which, you know, I'm not surprised because we got the game room right here. So the focus, the focus, the focus. Is this spilled? Is this spilled? First of all, I don't know if that's spilled, but I feel like, remember I was just talking about something being wasted? We got these cars, these random cars on the floor. I mean, you know, like, everything is not out of balance, but, I mean, those cards is mad random on the floor. And I think this is spilled. So... Uh, yes, this wine glass. Okay, something has spilled. Wasting. What has been wasted? Ooh, I don't know. I'm getting hot. Okay, so first of all, this could be a person, situation, or habit. But I'm getting how did we get away from love? How did love get away from us? Waste of time. Waste of time, not a waste of love. Just a waste of love. Wasted love. Listen, y'all know what's on the Janae Iko wasted love. Just know. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Toxic, first of all. <laughs> That's, listen, I just gotta, that, mm, yeah, I don't, toxic is what I'm getting. Um, okay, so let's go. Okay, Spirit, what is, what is, what is, what are we, what are we releasing for, for um, Pal B? First of all, toxic person is, I'm just going to say toxic person. I, it, it could be a habit, it could be a situation, but I'm definitely seeing toxic person. Um, yeah, because now my brain is just, I, listen, my brain is just going now. Like, it's supposed to be fun happening, but we arguing, we, 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 we messing stuff up. Like, we knocking stuff over for no reason. We, like, leaving. Where are you going? Where are you going? Because cause if you come back with the same vibe, then what was the point of going? I don't get it. I don't get it. Okay. So, Spirit, what are we le releasing for POW, for POW 2, group 2, for group 2 person B? Let's go. Look. All right. This is supposed to be right here. Newspaper editor is giving, like I said, first of all, for some of us, it was the person. Uh, for some of us, it's newspaper editor is giving like mentality like are we like what are you settling for what are you letting your brain yo this is what i'm getting what are you letting your brain tell you is okay or let somebody else tell you is okay that's not okay like the support that's what i'm seeing the support here right all right so let's see this one is reversed and this one is reversed. Look at that. Look at that. A whole 10. This has a... Listen. Everything is all connected. Because the newspaper edit... Okay, whatever it is you... Like, you being light about and playful about. If it's a person or a situation. It's warped in your whole mindset. It's warped in the reality around you. Like, you know how some people say, like, I can't watch the news. Why? Because it's too negative. Like, and then it just gave me a whole ideology that, you know, like, the world is negative when it's not. Like, if you let somebody stay in your life, first of all, I, I feel mad strong. You're letting somebody stay in your life. First of all, Spirit wants you to not let this person stay in your life. Because it's warped in your whole energy. It's warped in who you are. It's taken away from you. Like, it's taken away from you. It's taken away from your happiness. It's taken away from your abundance, truthfully. It's taken away from your fulfillment. It's taken away from you understanding who you are. It's taken away from your higher perspective. It's taken away from your consciousness. It's taken away from your self it's taken away from your self-examination. You let somebody tell you who you are. You let somebody mold you into a person that you're not even... You, you let this person take you farther and farther away from who you are. I don't like this. Don't like this energy. But that is why spirit, spirit don't like this energy. That's why my attitude is like this. That's, And that's exactly why 
Spirit is telling you to release this. And if you are already in the process, this is a confirmation that you're doing the right thing. If you have not, if you have been thinking about it, t t this is your sign. This is definitely your sign. And I'm like, I, I can't even apologize to you right now. Like, I want to be, like, this is me being compassionate. Because I've been here. I've been here. Like, I, I've been here. So I, I, I know how it feels. But it's nothing for me to apologize to you about because you could take your power back. Spirit is in encouraging you to take your power back because your happiness is down the drain because of this. All this is done. Spirit is letting you know this phase is out. You're, you've been guided to... First of all, a lot of us have been already understanding this. A lot of us have are already in a point of our lives for power B to know I'm not the person who I used to be. I don't feel like the person I want to be. So all of this is done. Completion. You learned what you needed to learn from this person. It's hard for you to... You see how that door's open? Nobody's holding you here anymore. Like, no, like, like whatever it is that they're saying or doing or have done and, and said to get you to this point... It's, it's through. Like, you already have enough comprehension to know. That's why the door's open. I remember, I was like, who left and why? And then remember when I said, oh, remember when I said, why did you leave just to come back with the same mindset? I don't get it. Even if this person's leaving, it's you who needs to leave. Then don't let them come back in. Close that door. You need to either close the door or you need to leave. But either way, the door needs to be closed. You need to, like... Be like, this is my space, you gotta go. Or you need to be like, I'm gonna pack myself and go. But close the door when you do it, is what I'm getting. Close the door. This is tough love, and like, this is this is, this is is tough love. But this is what you need to hear, because I'm not with it. I'm not with it at all. I don't, I don't condone none of this energy. For the person, at the end of the day, like, I have people who, who I, I just need to like, vent. Because like I'm being guided to do so because I've been here and it's not a, it's not a good place to be in. It's not a good place to be in. The person who who puts you in this position who makes you feel like this, they don't they, like they do this on purpose because they feel low in whatever energy, so they take yours. But then they like have fun with other people, which is why the game room is here. And then on top of that, you over here put on a facade making people feel like you're happy. This is not cool. This is not okay. And if they showed you once, they showed you twice, they continue to show you. Bro, Why? that's why I was singing Janae Echo. Bro, no, listen. If they continue to show you, it's really letting you know. It's really letting you know. Look. I get it. I get it. If we try to figure out... How did we get away from love? You need to figure that out on your own. Because I, I'm going to be honest with you. It wasn't love to begin with. It, it was not love. Now I'm not going to just say it was lust. But you could have been trauma bonded with somebody. That's not just love. It's not. It's confusing. That's what that is. Because if you're trauma bonded with somebody. This person is lacking love within themselves. And you're lacking love within yourself. So even if you're being harsh. Or they're the ones being harsh. If you're accepting or if you're dishing it out. It only means that you need to focus on you. That's it. Right? And it's okay to just focus on you. Because eventually you get back around to everybody else. But you know what I mean? You don't read the newspaper with other people usually. You read it by yourself. So you know. You don't edit the newspaper with other people it's not showing the office like and you know you don't edit the newspaper playing games oh my goodness right fragmented pieces right yes like broken up fragmented pieces like your happiness is 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 depleting is depleted i don't like i don't like this energy I don't like this energy. All right, so I think I think I like. I, I went in. I went in. Your strength. I mean, I guess I could keep on going. Your strength and your confidence is low because of your happiness being low. Because of your fulfillment being low. Because of your lack of knowledge that's going on. You're allowing. You're allowing this to to warp your mindset and stuff like that so it's not feeding you the, the 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 knowledge that you need for for the intelligent person that you are the amazing wonderful person that you are i don't like this energy right 
and then green and yellow makes blue. Your clarity, your intuition is low. You don't trust yourself. You don't trust the decisions that you're making. You see? The newspaper. I don't. You. Ooh. I don't want to offend anybody when I'm saying I don't like this energy. Like I said, I've went through this stuff before. So the only reason I don't like this energy is because I've been in this energy myself. And it was not a fun time. It was not fun. And I'm saying I don't like this energy. You probably feel the same way. You probably look around, you know, time and time and feel like I don't like this energy. I don't like this energy. I'm only feeling what you feel right now. So I'm not trying to offend anyone. And I'm not trying to like look down on anyone. Like I said, I've been here. But it's hurtful. That's why I don't like this energy because it's hurtful. That's why I'm so passionate right now because it's hurtful. This is low vibe energy. And it's low vibe, it's unnecessary low vibe energy. It's a distraction from who you who you destined to be, who you could be, who you are meant to be. It, 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 it's, it's draining. It's not cool. So I'm gonna stop. This is this so if any of that stuff resonated, because it all went hand in hand, then this is what you're either leaving behind or you're being guided to leave behind. You understand? And if that's the case. I wish you the best and I hope you're doing that. So now we're going to jump into what are you going to receive for doing so? Like, let's get into that because I'm, I'm really not with, I'm really not with this. I feel like I fed into that enough. Okay, so what are we receiving? Spirit, what is power, what does person be receiving for releasing this, for releasing this energy? What is If I'm not mistaken, this was like the most submissive. First of all, let me just add that. This was the most submissive group. I literally um was doing the pals and stuff. All the pals had different energy. The Well, both groups had different energy. Each person had different energy. This was the most submissive energy of all of the persons that I've done. And I'm not, it's nothing wrong with being submissive. Like... But it's something wrong if like you only in a submissive like energy and stuff like that. Now this this group also had a lot of messages that wanted to come out, but I didn't take all of those messages. So now like for me to just get all of the messages that I got with just the basics says a lot because there's a lot that you have to say and your voice deserves to be heard. Let me just say that. So spirit, okay. Okay. What are we what are we receiving, spirit? What are we receiving? What are we receiving? Okay. What are we receiving, spirit? What are we receiving? What are we receiving, Spirit? New beginning. Brand new beginning. Ooh, you know what I'm getting? Uh, brand new Beretta. Can't wait to let it go. Woke up in the spot like, where to check? Oh, what? <laughs> what did that be with the left hole? Shut the. That's Drake. Um, that's definitely Drake. Okay, but do you see how that's a brand new energy? Some of us is Drake fans here. <laughs> yes, I love it. I love Drake. Um, that made me happy. So happiness, which I'm already seeing. And you see how? First of all, do you see how we turned the oh the reverse nine into the six? Oh, I like this. I like this. We clean it up. We clean it up. The people. Oh, it's not even about the people. Ooh. All right. I'm getting a lot from this. I'm getting a, a whole lot. I like that we have the same color scheme. So, we're going to get into it. All right. So, we're letting go of our, the beach house. The beach house. You know what it is? We're letting go the parts of us that are not us. The parts of us that we have allowed to, uh, like, like allow ourselves to soak in as, like, escaping. 
um, by not escaping the situation. So if you release this, you're going to be able to uh, let go of like the parts of you that you feel like you have to push down and the parts of you that you that feel like you have to settle uh and just escape within yourself because that's not like that's not healthy at all so some a lot of us here has been escaping within ourselves like we're quiet in ourselves we're we're like putting ourselves in an energy where like we're away even in our our body like we're away like instead of engaging and stuff and stuff like that like like what i was saying before like we don't know who we are anymore like we're away so we're letting go of that so that's what you will receive you're gonna receive like a, a new piece of you like a, 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 a fulfilled piece of you like look the janitor's here so we're cleaning that up we're like um i'm getting oh this is a strong reading i'm getting dirty laundry uh oh oh that line is so oh okay okay um kelly Rowland, let's do this dirty laundry this dirty laundry right but i'm getting especially she said when my sister was on stage killing it like a mother i was enraged feeling it like a mother uh when she said bird to a plane i don't i don't know she said went our separate ways but i was happy she was killing it then she said uh bitter sweet she was up i was down uh, no, I feel good for her, but what do I do now? Forget the racket, off the racket. I was going through some bulls. Post survivor, she on fire. Who want to hear my bulls? Meanwhile, this man go putting his hands on me. All right, so I feel like some of us has are like in a domestic violence situation. Like, we getting out of that. We cleaning up that whole situation. And, oh my God, I'm so happy for you if that's, a, if that's the case because I... I'm a survivor of domestic violence myself. Like, let's go. Stay at home. Because you got this. You got this. Like, you could get away from it. Like, his spirit is letting you know. Like, I told you that. All that is done. Like, your confidence is coming back. Right? Um, And your confidence and your, like, comfortability within that is, like, is going to dissipate if you, if you just let it. If you just allow it to. If you surrender to the changes. Right? Um. Um. Ooh, this is a strong reading. Ooh, like, okay, um, one thing that I learned is, like, uh, I used to be feeling so out of place, like, in my own home. So I'd be like, could you leave? Could you leave for a little while and come back? Because I felt like I, like, I felt like my home was my only space, like, that I could feel comfortable in. Even though, like, I didn't, like, I guess I didn't really feel comfortable at all, right? But then I also realized that, like, I also realized that, like, uh, when I don't clean up my space, like, it reflects on my mental health and stuff like that. Like, if, if stuff is getting cluttered, like, then it's just like, dang, like, am I, am I trying to avoid thinking about something or something like that? Or like, or like, do I feel overwhelmed by something in my life or stuff like that? Like, you're going to get more, uh, in tune with yourself like that. And you're going to like have a, a, a better space for yourself. And like, no, I'm not saying that it's just going to happen overnight or anything like that. This is work that you're going to have to do but you're gonna have this type of clarity like if you don't have these specifically you're gonna like you're gonna have similar things like for your well-being and your like your mental health and development and stuff like that right so with the with the six like your happiness is just gonna be oh you're gonna be happy like you're gonna be happy again like and it's gonna be like a clean happy like you're gonna be cleansed and with the zero it's gonna be like a new like you're gonna be a brand new person and i feel like i said something about reviving for this pal or your partner or whatever so oh i like that oh and the other one wow this is this is this is very deep because uh person a was the one who was like dang you got some balls and then you know person b here is like the opposite like you you allow somebody to feel like they had those type of balls and i'm not like i said i'm not calling I am calling you out because spirit is calling you out, but I'm not doing it in a judgmental, like a rude judgmental manner. Um, but you gotta have balance within yourself. Um, you're gonna have, like, you're gonna be able to be in tune with your intuition more, and you're gonna have peace. You're gonna have, um, you're gonna be able to, like, take care of yourself and nurture yourself and have more compassion for yourself, and you're also gonna get compassion from other people. And then you're also gonna have like uh, a whole bunch of potential to just like restart your life. And honestly, like you have um like like you have endless opportunity like endless opportunities, but also endless like possibilities of like what it is you you could do with your with with your with your newfound happiness, with your newfound peace. Like you're just gonna be able to create your own reality from scratch. Like the more you 
like do for yourself the more you're going to come into understanding who it is that you actually are and what it is that you actually want to do with yourself and you like you could get like i'm getting you're gonna go and be able to do like a lot of things like and um like engage in a lot of things and stuff like that just to like uh try things out and, and because you're not the type of person who uh like even with the game room being here like you're not the type of person in a beach house being here like you're not the type of person who's like boring like you like to do stuff and you like to like escape but like you're gonna have healthy escapes and it's not really gonna be like an escape it's gonna be like hobbies now like you like Instead of you feeling like you have to retreat into yourself, like you're gonna be able to retreat into like other situations and, and it's not gonna be like away from yourself. Like you're gonna be able to be there and, and be um like uh and be uh present. Like like cause I feel like in the past she wasn't able to feel present. And um you're gonna have a, a deeper connection with like your like who you believe in, like if you like believe in God, gods uh goddesses angels spirits anything like that your ancestors you're gonna be able to have a stronger connection with like your spiritual team and stuff and that's really beautiful and um like yeah like it's gonna be you're just gonna feel really good like you're gonna feel really complete and in, in, in more ways than you've ever felt in your life and you're gonna find like the strength from like everything that you've been through and stuff like that all right so spirit can i have can i please have some messages there's a lot okay i'll take it Ooh. Oh, look at that. yo i love synchronicities i'm so loud okay the very first thing says be cautious of the changes you are enduring very important time to mold you into the you you want to be did i just say you can be whoever you want to be oh my god i'm so happy for you guys okay and then we have the firefighter and a doctor so because it's upright it's saying like you're gonna be able to fight for yourself like this is saying like like you should and you're going to be able to like the more you work towards this stand up for yourself and you're going to be able to stand up for other people and not only save yourself but save other people like and people are going to recognize you and be so appreciative but with the doctor you're also going to have like the compassion for yourself and for other people to understand like like this is what other people have gone through this is what you're going through and you're also going to be able to help a lot of people like in ways that you're like you're going to be able to save people but you're also going to be able to like fix people's wounds and heal people's wounds but also have the knowledge to to save yourself and heal your own wounds like you're not going back like a firefighter and a doctor one thing about both of those um like uh occupations is once you learn how to like you know be a firefighter like unless you have dementia or some other type of mental illness like you can't forget how to save a life but not only that but you have like the critical skills to like make sure that your life is always good and as a doctor is like you save other people and whatever aspects um that your um practice is but like once again on your off time you literally have these skills to use for yourself like it's, it's, it's like a very thin line between between the two like is, is, is awesome it's amazing so i'm really happy for you with that one then we then we have maybe you shouldn't so <laughs> i don't know maybe you shouldn't some of us is thinking about certain things we'll see right maybe you shouldn't it says treat yourself so we should treat ourselves it says trust yourself treat yourself trust yourself i love it right i just want to read this one more time be cautious of the changes you are enduring very important time to mold you into the you you want to be oh i love that for you okay and then we got the editor and the composer and i like how the editor came out twice but like this editor is not like this editor like here so the editor and a composer both being upright is a beautiful message because just like the firefighter and the doctor it goes hand in hand but the editor is saying like oh just you see how i read that and then like oh my gosh Ugh. i love this i really love this for you so you see how like the editor is here it's letting you know like look look sees <laughs> it's letting you know look um you can choose 
whatever it is you want you can edit your life like yeah you went through this this was your past but it's over now that like edit it to make sure that edit your life to make sure that it aligns with where you are now right now you already have the clarity and you have the confirmations from not only yourself your spiritual team but from like myself and my spiritual team and you know what i mean like the rest of our community to move forward and to trust yourself and to love yourself and to treat yourself and to be cautious of the changes that you are making be specific about who it is you want to be about the, the you that you want to be because you are able to do that and then the composer is basically saying exactly that like you can be exactly who you want to be so you know what i mean like edit your life the way you want to edit it like don't be so hard on yourself like you know what i mean like be happy because you deserve it and now is the time for you to come into happiness and i know that it can be a little bit difficult i understand it can be a little bit difficult but i do want you to know that you know i'm rooting for you your spiritual team is rooting for you and our whole community is rooting for you as well so i just wish you the very very best and you know like literally like i want to pull you more cards like everybody else had extra cards. <laughs> I wanna be the first person, if I may, to just to just like gift you like something, like one of your gifts, because you you're gonna receive a lot of gifts in the future, just for who you are. And I just wanna I just wanna give you like an idea of something that you could look forward to. So, Spirit, can you give me a card or two to let me know what can group three look forward to uh, like during or after these changes take place? Like, what can how person B look forward to? Like, what can person B look forward to? Like, wow cowgirl i feel like masculine or feminine it's like uh calmness you can look into calmness uh clarity within your thoughts uh, a whole bunch of renewal like very very much fresh start um and open communication among i guess like I don't know like just a, a lot of open communication like there's a whole community out here waiting to like speak to you embrace you love you and you know like if that's what you're looking for if that's what you feel like you need like it's here and and, and is, is waiting for you and the more you work on yourself the, the closer you get to it to understand that and happiness uh, like deep happiness um like like understanding what makes you happy and what makes you you and stuff like that and uh you already have a little idea of of it but it's just gonna be like even stronger and yeah so thank you for sharing your time with me and i really do wish you the best and i hope that you know like if you are in a situation that's dangerous that you that you that you and your spiritual team uh, you know put you in a position which it seems like you've already been in a position to remove yourself and to and to claim your power back and be the you that you are meant to be and just stand in your strength and I'm sending you love and healing energies and I just want to you know I just want to let you know like I believe in you we believe in you so uh, let me just cleanse the energy for you and. I just want to say thank you for spending your time with me. So, see you later. See you in the next one.